I'm Andrew Jenkinson, the Caravan Expert, and welcome to my Caravan channel. Come to another review. This is an Ellis Crusader Mistral. Now, the Crusader range to me is a super range of Taurus, and its last few years, Elders have really pushed the Crusader along and it's become very, very popular again. Anyway, I'm going to give you this review and uh, let's have a look around this 2021 that's just landed on the forecourt and uh, let's see what it's like and is it worth that extra price tag over the affinity range which is another super range by the way so without further ado i'm going to take you around and i'm going to go show you probably from the lounge first and then we'll just follow it through but uh, just very very quickly um a little history lesson elders of course have been going since late 1964 uh siddle cook started them off and the company grew bought by abi in 1973 then eventually they bought themselves out from abi and um Eventually, they were bought out by the Heimer Group. The Mistral name has been around since 1971 and was originally a two birth. And there was a little controversy between Adria and Eldis because Adria actually used the Mistral name in the early 80s. And I believe Eldis were not happy and, well, they vented their anger and Adria dropped the Mistral uh, badge off this particular tour that they were going to put it on. Anyway. History lesson over, let's go and have a look around this van. Right, here we are in the rear in washroom. There's a decent shower in there, which nicely comes all lit up at night. I've seen it. There's a bit of a banging up there, that's just the roof vent, I'm afraid. Um, large enough mirror, great to be able to look at yourself and have a shave or whatever. And uh, you men too. And um, there's a decent hand basin there, plus also some storage and that nice chrome radiator which is run off the Alder heating plus the Thetford cassette loo and a nice decent size window with these nice fancy blinds plus you've got some storage up there and some integral lighting so that washroom is very practical and really you can't really say much more let's move into bedroom right this is a transverse bed and you come with the usual um, wardrobes here Lots of storage, little drawers here. Or should I say, that's not a drawer, that's a pull-out. That's a pull-out little shelf. That's quite nifty, I quite like that idea. Nice little head rest there, uh, headboard there, should I say. Overhead storage lock, good and deep. Uh, high key roof vent here too. And also you get a decent size sign window here too. So again, plenty of light coming in here, even on this now quite dull afternoon. And this can also be 
obviously partitioned off. Now I'm not a big fan of these concertina ones. Uh, I don't know, they always seem a bit flimsy to me, but anyway, uh, there's not much else you can do there, I'm afraid. There's connections here for your TV, so you can have your, your TV wall mounted, but there's no um, small unit in here or anything like that. Um, but you do get a larger wardrobe on this side. And also, you've got that shelf again. Because you don't get a shelf here either side of the bed like you normally do for put your morning cup of tea on. That might be a problem for some people maybe. I can see you in years to come people DIYing shelves on these. Anyway, enough of that. Let's move into the kitchen area and see what that is like. Now, just before we go over that, I mean, I noticed the change of wood here in the crusade. I need to again look at the 2021 spec. Because this is all so new and they just everything's very sketchy. But it feels really nice. It feels nice and light. It feels very modern and contemporary. Probably one of the best crusaders so far. Right, let's get in that kitchen well, area. What you notice, of course, is this super-sized uh, hand basin. And you've got some decent storage here. A splashback here. And also there's two uh, main sockets. And... For extra worktop storage, of course, you've got the fold up there, which is very good. Um, normal size domestic fridge, it's good. Plus, you've got the Thetford oven here with dual fuel hob and lots of drawer storage. Plus, your microwave and a little bit more worktop over here. And that microwave is set than a real great, it's a great, nice working level, is that? And I, I quite like how it just seems, you know, they could have put a bit of filler, but it's just really nicely finished off. And of course, you've got some more storage up here. And an integral light. And um, it's very, very practical, of course. And a cupboard below. So quite a bit of decent work top and quite a bit of, you know, um, uh, good storage. The Mistral's um, storage and kitchen area as a whole is very practical. Yeah, some down lights at the top there too. So plenty of lights and you've got the on the vent roof vent at the top here as well to get rid of those nasty smells when you're cooking. Now we are quite losing light here now, it's gone really dull, so we'll be fairly quick. What I did forget just to mention was that bed does pull out to make it larger for sleeping in, and you can still get around. You can see me in the mirror there, sorry about that. Okay, let's get to that. Well, the lounge area is well served by sunroof and this opening sky vent as well, which has got lighting around there. The lighting is very, very good in the L, this is no doubt about it, and the Crusader there's no exception. Um, again, good comfortable seating, lots of uh, s storage and things for your, uh, for, your, for your telly, your radio, your speakers up there, a little bit of a shelf over there, and the front shelf too. And of course, you do have access flaps to the seat bases. Plus, to make this up into a double course, you've got the slats. Big thick cushions here. I mean, these are something I'd have in my front room, you know, in the best in, in my parlour, make it look nice and, and and posh. So it should be very comfortable to be here. Four people will only be able to sit in here. The seats are short, but very comfortable on the whole. And yeah, as many as you can imagine, it's going to be used mainly for two people this tour. So really, it's going to be ideal. Very snug. That's in the front lounge area. Um, what do I think? Well, it's £27,500 there thereabouts. And for that sort of money, I think this actually is quite good value. You get a lot of Torah for the money. I do like the feel that it's quite modern. You've got some very sizable roof, roof lockers in there. A very good spec. Now, you could argue and say, well, you know, do you want to go and pay the extra five or 6000 plus for the Buccaneer? And 
get a little bit extra spec. Again, it's down to what people aspire to, and people do aspire to Buccaneers, and that name does have presence on the touring site. And it's a very decent spec, and they're also very nice, there's no doubt about it. But the Crusader, is it the poor man's Buccaneer? Well, I think that would be really unfair to say that, because I think the Crusader can hold its own. Ever since it was introduced in 1976, yes, that's 45 years ago. It's its 45th anniversary. I don't think Elders probably realise that. But it's its 45th anniversary, and it's always been a popular luxury touring range in Eldis. Uh, especially when they were an independent company, uh, when they were in the old ABI days. They, you know, it was, it was their creme de la creme of touring caravans. And today, I still think it holds that legacy. I really do. I think it's well made, it's well put together, and I can see the Crusader again being a very popular buy for 2021. That's if you can get one, because again, these sell pretty quickly. So, overall, I think it's a great tourer, and I think, um, as I say, for the money, it's good value. There's lots of other tourers out there, obviously, but I think Eldis, uh, this last couple of years, have really held their own. And now with Luna out of the game, which is very, very sad, in my opinion, uh, and a lot of other people I've talked to Luna about, you know, it means that there's going to be that less bit of choice now on that, on that dealer's forecourt. And everybody else gets a little bit of share of Luna's, uh, Luna's demise. And I think Eldis will probably pick up quite a bit on Crusaders, to be honest with you, um, which is probably from the, uh, you know, you might get Clubman people who would buy Luna Clubman, would go for an Eldest Crusader instead. So, on that note, I shall bid you farewell, and um, I will hope to keep bringing some reviews. Um, and the weather's turning very wet again now, and uh, it's going quite dark, and it's just a little winter, really. <laughs> I just wish I could put the heating on, shut the curtains on there, put the telly on, and put my feet up. be very comfortable. Anyway, Keep subscribing, please keep liking, please watch the, uh, please give me some comments, and also uh, uh, at Christmas time, if you want some books to read, check out my uh, Facebook page with all the books on or Amazon. I shall see you soon and stay safe, and also let's look forward to 2021 and let's hope caravanning will be much more improved and we can get out and about more. Bye for now. Thank you.